I was in one of those times in life where I was looking for something. There was some internal struggle going on and I had a dream. In this dream, I was walking up this overcast beach and up ahead I saw two women. It looked like they were arguing. But the closer I got to them, I realized that only one of the two was arguing. The woman with her back to the ocean, she is flailing her arms. But the woman she's talking to, who's facing her and facing the ocean, has this amazing sort of stillness to her in a way that was so compelling. The argumentative woman was trying to literally steal my attention, but I was drawn magnetically to the compelling woman. And then the compelling woman does something extraordinary. She moves towards the argumentative woman and she wraps her arms around her in a way that was so loving that I felt it. And after a beat, they parted and turned and looked at me. And I see that they are both me. In that moment, the clouds part and the sun comes beaming through. And it blinds me for a moment. And when I could see again, both ladies were gone. I woke from that dream with an understanding of self that has continued to expand and build and strengthen my life. Because I saw that the dream was telling me that those three selves live inside of me, live inside of all of us. And that we are moving in and out of those selves every day, all day. I named those three selves the surviving self, the thriving self, and the infinite self. The surviving self is that part of us that's always got its dukes up, ready for a fight, in fear of its life, thinking something's wrong, thinking that something is against it. The thriving self is that part of us that is always moving forward, using all the circumstances before it to grow and expand. Seeing life as a sense of what's possible, not what's been taken. The thriving self leads with hope and empathy and a sense of being and belonging that makes life better. <laughs> the infinite self is that part of us that, that still waters run deep. That part of us that is connected to time before time. It's what the mystics call that part of us that is birthless and deathless. It was before time and it will be after. That part has a wisdom and a knowing and a connection to all of life that actually has the power to make us and keep us safe. I realized that my journey from this point forward could be to decide to manage the surviving self by becoming more connected to, aware of, and in deliberate relationship with the thriving self and the infinite self. And that's the journey of a lifetime.